Today I'm going to teach you how to change the color of an eye. So we're going to start off with a photo, hopefully a high quality photo. And um, we're going to create a new layer above the eye layer. and uh, Or maybe you'll have multiple eyes. But uh, for this one I only have one eye in this photo. And we're going to select our brush tool over here. And at black, a very soft brush, kind of big. And we're just going to color in the eye. Best way to do this, go around the edges of the eye at the beginning. Doesn't matter if you get a little messy with it outside the edges, you can always go back and erase, which you're going to have to do anyway, so you might as well go outside a little bit. Um, let's disable this bottom layer for a second so we can see what we missed. We missed a little, a little bit of um, little bit of area in here. We want to make sure we get everything. We don't want to have parts of the eye colored and parts not. So we're going to set this black layer to um, color mode. And I can see that we have a black and white eyeball. Um, don't worry though. We're going to make it uh, colorful soon enough. So let's double click on the black eyeball layer. And um, that will open up the blending options. And most tutorials would tell you now to um, take the fill opacity down. But we're going to leave that up because we want this color to be black and white at the beginning to help us out. So we're going to go to Color Overlay, and you can see that we just made a big red blob in the middle of our eye. But we're going to change the Blend Mode to Overlay, and now you can see that we have some color going on. But don't worry, it will get a lot better than this. We are going to just press OK and leave it at red for the moment. You don't have to change the color yet, because that's not the uh, final product, obviously. So we're going to take our eraser tool now and we're going to touch up these edges because we got a little red out of the lines and we want to make sure these edges, you'll see that um, you get some highlight highlighted uh, color around the edges of your iris. You want to get rid of that, make it a little blurrier so it's not so um, obvious that you went and changed the eye color with Photoshop or something. So now you make a nice uh, blurrier line around that edge. Uh, and definitely on these eyelids, make sure you have no remnants of the color left there. Unless, of course, you wish to uh, act as if it's just glowing or something. Um, so let's uh, double click on this color overlay. Bring that back up. And we're going to disable this. And we're gonna actually going to go to gradient overlay now. Now you can see that we have a beautiful black and white gradient right over our eyeball. But of course, that's not what we want. Let's change this first to uh, first let's change it to style radial now you can see that we have uh, black on the inside white on the outside that's not exactly what we want uh, but first let's change the blend mode to overlay just as our other one so now we overlay a white and black but uh, we're not finished yet we don't want black and white so just click on this gradient here on uh, on that gradient, and one of the presets will be red to green. This is the one we're going to change. Uh, first off, let's change this red. I don't like this red. I want it a little, a little more red, not as pink. I'm going to change this up to the top and make it a little darker. Press OK. You can actually choose any color here. I'm just choosing red, and I'm going to actually make this color a yellow. Double click on these. That's how I'm getting to this menu. A nice yellow would look really nice with this red. So now we have a red to yellow. And I'm going to drag this red slider across a little bit. That'll make it a little bit more red, not not quite as dominantly yellow. And I'm going to press OK when I'm done with that. Now you can see that it's a little off-centered. All you have to do is when you're in this layer style mode, when you add a layer style, you can just drag it. So I'm going to drag that, um, that radial uh, gradient to where I want it, to where it's centered around the pupil. Now you can see the scale. I can change this and make the red a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. I'm going to change it up a little bit. And now you can see, once I press OK, that we have a red to yellow eye. We made this all in about five minutes. And um, I'll show you a couple other different, um, different options you can choose. When you click on this, the best one to go with is just to change up this um, this uh, red to green. 
now that we're centered, we can change it to anything. We don't have to even worry about centering it or changing anything else. All we have to do is double click on these um, on these colors. So let's have maybe like a uh, blue inside and a green outside. It's a more of a realistic realistic color. Maybe that blue and maybe a brighter green. Not quite as well. That one doesn't look all that realistic. Let's make sh let's make the blue on, on this side, and then maybe make the green on this side. And all you have to do is drag the slider across, make it a little more green as you wish. Or better yet, instead of um, instead of um, instead of changing it with a define line, just change it with this with this little bead. This will change the um, it'll make it oh, more of a blurry edge here, a, a more of a fade. So now we have a greater fade, and you can tell that there's a lot more green going on now. Looks more of a realistic eye, even though the blue isn't quite as uh, quite as what I wanted for a blue. I wanted a different blue. But you can play around with it, see what colors you can come up with. My favorite, obviously, being the red to yellow. It looks kind of evil, maybe like a, a Star Wars thing or something. But uh, then you're done. You have you can change it to anything. You can also just use the color overlay if you want a co one colored eye. Uh, or you can change it to um, five or six colors using the gradient hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Check out our website, mymediatutorials.com, for a lot more.